when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. Yes, sir. That's exactly what it means. Because I can be that guy who has a lot of information. It doesn't matter what I know. What matters is what you're ready for and what you will listen to, what you've been trained, how you've been trained to learn. And so uh, I don't care how good your coach is. If you're not coachable, okay, what's the difference between Tom Brady and Desmond Howard and Michael Phelps and everyone else? Well, they're coachable. <laughs> Amazing. They're hungry and they're humble. You have to be humble to learn from someone else. The hardest people to teach are smart people. The smarter they are, the more money they have, the more power and influence they have, it's harder to teach them. Do you ascribe the idea? I, f I feel like, like at least my witnessing from afar, someone like Tom Brady, you know, has something that I've always picked up on. The opportunity to, to learn from every scenario and every person and every situation, because there is no two situations the same or no two people the same. So when you say about a smart person not being able to learn, like, oh, why do I want to spend time with this person? There's nothing to learn. I always thought, like, everyone you meet, there's something to learn. It could be good. It could be bad. How do I want to show up? How do I not want to show up? You know? So is it is it just some people are wired that way? Or is it possible when people are stubborn and stuck and you want to help them, but they're not ready to be helped? It's just some type of trigger point needs to get, you know, a switch needs to go off somehow, you know? Yeah. yeah. Well, what it boils down to is what kind of questions do you ask them? What it boils down to is getting them to a space in their own mind where they, they have to figure it out. Do I need to make some changes? And they have to figure it out. You remember, you've had people in your life who were experts on everything and could tell you what you need to do and how you need to think, and where you need to go and why you should do it this way. You made no changes, John. I made no changes, John, until I decided to change, until I saw it. So you have to give people an opportunity to examine what's working and what's not working. You've got to keep it that simple. Uh, if uh, the way that you're managing money is working, by all means, continue. If the way that you're managing your money is not working, what can we do differently? Right. How do we create a system design architecture to enable you to chill? Yes. So relax, enjoy your life. You know, like you want to have freedom. You want to create a system and a structure and support so that you can have freedom.